Welcome back to the life of Wendy. Um, last time we managed to fix our sanity problem, which was just disgusting and bleh. There were things trying to kill us in the shadows. That's how bad it was. And uh, today we are going to go in search of poops. Because we are desperately in need of a good food source. And given that I can't find any rabbits to strangle... I'm going to have to go and get poops to make a farm. It's the only other option. It's the only other one. Well, I could also collect all of the berry bushes in the world and uh, build a massive berry farm, but that just seems like a massive waste of resources. So instead, I'm going to collect poop. Because obviously shoveling poop is not a massive waste of resources. Take it from me. I've been surviving well. <coughs> not at all on the brink of uh, completely losing my mind. <coughs> yeah. And I'm now spending my days shoveling... Ah, poop. Ow. I've been hit by lightning again. That cannot be good for Wendy. That's got to be really bad, actually. Like, I'm just checking out this map real quick, just in case you're wondering. I want to see where I am in regards to the world. Not much of it. Oh. Ooh, Abigail, wreck house. Get at it. Get at it. She kills enough of those guys? Oh my goodness. It's a frog holocaust! Wait, is it actually raining frogs? Oh, poop. I didn't... I didn't know it actually rained frogs. Well, yep, yeah, definitely raining frogs. Well, Abigail is no longer with us. Good thing, bad thing? I'm not actually sure. Given that it is now raining frogs, I can't be certain. Looks as though the frogs slaughtered a beefalo. The beefalo count in this world is dropping significantly. Ow, 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 go away. Actually, I think they slaughtered both the beefaloes. Man, I just can't keep beefaloes alive around here. We are desperately in need of food. Which we have in the form of succulent beefalo loins. And succulent frog loins. The beefalo loins, of course, being far more succulent. Because there's not really much on a frog leg. I don't know if you've ever examined a frog leg before. I don't blame you if you haven't. It's actually kind of weird if you have. Unless, of course, you're like an amphibiologist? I made that name up. Someone who studies amphibians or frogs. Which I've now deemed those people are called amphibiologists. Okay, biologists. Unless you happen to be a biologist who cares about frogs. If you're that, then it makes quite a bit of sense that you would uh, have examined in great detail slimy little frog legs. However, if you aren't that, it's very strange. I recommend you don't examine them anymore. And uh, you consider your life and what brought you to the point of uh, examining frog legs. That is my tyrant. Tyrant? Uh, tyrant is not the word. Tirade. There we go. That is my tirade for now. And because of the terrible nature of that tirade, the uh, beasts of the night are actually going to try to kill me now. Because it was a really bad one. <clears throat> what was it about? Frog legs? One of the most pathetic things that I've tirade about. 
frog legs. So of course we are going to need a place to sleep. So let's examine. Oh poop. Cha. We are seriously I hate these guys. Put the fuel on! Okay, we got fuel. So, I guess day 16 we're going to spend our time running around in circles. Uh, trying not to be killed by these creatures. How amazing. Welcome to the life and times of Wendy. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Quite a bit, actually. That was not good. We have a legitimate zero sanity. That is terrible. Unfortunately, we can't do much about it. Except for run in circles, is this... Still cannot decide what that looks like. It looks like a bear. Like an octopus bear. It's an octopus bear. I'm going with it. Just to run around in circles while that octopus bear chases us down. Like the rat scallion he is. Look at him go. Our sanity is at a terribly low level. Dangerously low. Get that food. And let's run. Run! It's a meaty stew. Just what Wendy needs to get her hopes up. To protect her from the beasts of the night. Actually, it's not going to protect her, but, you know. She's not going to starve. Name of the game, don't starve. I say this like every episode. We're going to not starve. Yay! Okay, time to pick flowers. See if we can get up to the point where those things are no longer chasing us down. Which I think we're already at, which is brilliant. That makes me happy. We'll still take a nice sleep uh, tonight, just to make sure that we uh, are in a good sanity level. Because we've got a good amount of food. We've got, we've also got a decent amount of poops, and I think those baby beefaloes are starting to make poops as well. Yeah, that's definitely the case. So we can pick up all these poops. And that is enough poops to make another farm. That is brilliant. We shall have more of a food source today. Not yet enough to sustain us in the long run, but we are working on it. We are working on it. Wendy, trouncing through the woods in search of poop to shovel and food to eat. We have enough grass. We have enough grass for our bed coil. We do. More than enough grass for our bed coil. Coil. That would be brilliant. Now we shall begin our work. Oh, but we need grass for our farm as well. It's always something, isn't it? Always something. Either it rains frogs or Wendy is going insane. Well, we don't have enough. Get out of here! What? Are you... Why are you after me all of a sudden? Oh, is it raining frogs again? Why is it raining frogs? My goodness! Evade the frogs! Wendy's been training for this her entire life. 
why she's been running so far. It's so long, all of these long days. So that she could evade the frogs the day it rained. Okay. That should be enough to build another farm. Another farm. More food. Brilliance. Absolute brilliance. Is that guy coming at me? You gonna come at me, frog? I'll wreck you. I will wreck house with you. Nah, he's too intimidated. Can't do it. Got nothing. So let's see. Got copious piles of rot. We should uh fertilize our nice farms with. Uh frog. Leave me alone. Abigail. Abigail to my rescue. There. We've sicked Abigail on this wretched frog. There we go. Okay. We're no longer being chased by frogs. Let's make a nice meaty medley to eat in the morning. Don't even think about it, frog. You just keep hopping over there. Right, we have to actually, uh, crap. Oh. oh, this is problematic. We didn't actually make the bed coil. We accidentally used all of the grass for a farm. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Now these guys are after me again. My goodness. Didn't I? Oh, oh, I have the meaty stew. That is good, that is good, that is good. Okay. Once again, we will spend the night running around in circles. The hounds are banging. Things only get worse. We have to lead this guy far enough away that we can put some fuel on that fire. There we go, that should be enough. That should be more than enough. Log suit! Hopefully Abigail decides to show up before the dogs do. That would be nice. So many frogs. So many frogs. To evade the frogs and the night beasts. Potentially also terrible hounds. My goodness. Life becomes more difficult in Camp Wendy. Ow. Ow. Run, Wendy! My goodness, Abigail, where are you? Come to my aid. Defeat these wretched frogs who threaten my lands. Eat the stew. Ah. That has hopefully given a useful health boost. Keep running. Ah, ow! Ran right into a dog. Oh, this is just great. This is just amazing. Where are you, Abigail? Where are you? I regret all the terrible things I said about you. Please. Oh, we're just gonna have to keep running for now. We can't take on two of them. We are quite injured. Frogs everywhere. Look. Fairies. 
we go. Abigail. Come forth, Abigail. It is your time. Yep. Jukes. It is your time, Abigail. I'm going to have to... Lee! Lee! Man, raining frogs is terrible. Had it rained fish before, but I've never had it rain frogs. Raining frogs is much worse than raining fish. Raining fish is actually quite a nice thing. Pretty much just get free food falling from the sky upon your heads. Heads? Your head? Unless, of course, you happen to be with someone else, whereas then it is heads. But posh, other people in this wasteland, not a chance. Okay. You picked many a flower. This has increased their sanity, but not enough to be unafraid of the creatures of the night. But these two flowers, yes, they have done it. Now we need to make sure we have enough grass to sleep out the night. Come on, come on, grass. Abigail, come forth. We need you, Abigail. Now. Oh no, I know where my rope is. Thought I dropped it over there, but nope, it's in my base. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And, as I had planned last night, the straw roll. Okay, I have no clue where those dogs went. I didn't think they were inclined. To... Oh, they've been killed. Oh, they've been killed. I wonder if it was the frogs. Oh, no. Nope. Attacking that has aggroed every frog. Abigail! Where are you, Abigail? Abigail, why have you forsaken us, Abigail? Well, hopefully that's gotten frogs away from our camp, which is the upside of this whole situation. We have to look for the light and everything, because it's fairly dark around here. We'll need more fuel tonight, and it shall come in the form of a pitchfork. grass top. Now let's see. One thing we need to consider is a thermal stone at some point. I have no clue precisely when winter will come. Things have been quite different so far than what I've normally experienced. So it could be a long while, but at least we have a thermal stone for when that happens. Let's just uh, start something cooking. What? Did... Straw roll! Go. Oh, did Abigail? Abigail's coming appears to have severely damaged my sanity. That is, I didn't know. I knew not. Well, um, on that note of terribleness, uh, that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. No doubt the next video will have much uh, running from creatures of the night as well. Um, 
But until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Frog legs!